My name's Liam. I'm the Regional Participation Lead for East Cornwall North Devon. Uh, what that entails is basically anything outside of a, a school environment that sort of flows through my job description, if you will, with the help of the others that are sort of here around here. The way the Argyle pathway works is obviously you have the academy as the pinnacle that the, the players will strive and fight for. Um, the step below that is the centre of excellence and uh, that would be here at Ashbury, our North Devon one. This is basically the, the best of the rest, if you will, that are striving and trying to hit those levels one day uh, is the aim. But if, um, if not, then obviously we educate them that it's about playing for the highest uh, level, highest ability that they can for the longest amount of day that they can. I'm Andrew, um, I'm Joint Manager of the North Devon Centre of Excellence here at uh, Ashbury. The way the youngsters selected, obviously a lot of the community coaches work in, within schools so, and they have the Saturday morning centres, so a lot of them come from, come from there and, and work their way up the ladder. We've got a wide range of age groups here, so we've got um, kids from 6 all the way up to 15. Starting with the younger ages, everything's all about football each, getting them comfortable on the football, teaching them skills, teaching them different movements um, and then just getting them comfortable on the football really and then as they get older it sort of progresses a little bit more into the tactical side of things but not too much, it's all, it's all a very individual programme to help each individual improve and progress as much as possible. I get good skills and it's really fun. The coaches are really good because they know what to teach and they always know what, what to do at the, when the time is. You get like loads of games and fun training and you get to travel to different places you've never been. I learn most of my stuff from coaches. My dreams for the future are to play for Bloom Fargar. Recently we've had quite a few successes from this from this centre. Um, we've had Ethan Clements, young goalkeeper, we've had Jasper, young player in the under nines. Um, they're both in the under nines at the academy now. We've got players like oh, Ben Turner in the under tens, we've got Harrison Shaw who's now under twelves. We've got lots of success stories. What we feel that they're going to get basically is an experience they can't replicate anywhere else. Uh, one thing we pride ourselves on here is the environment that we create for our children. You can hear them all around now. They're all flying about, they're all sort of fearless. Um, fear of failure isn't a thing here. So what they can get is an opportunity to come in, step onto this asteroid turf here tonight and basically attack any challenges put before them. Um, do it with a smile first and foremost as well. But then can you apply that into your club games on a Saturday or a Sunday, whoever they might play for. And if we do rep squad games, if we do centre of excellence games, whatever it is, that's what they're going to get because they can't get that from the